Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome to Newcomers to the channel. Today, we're going to do a quick review and disassembly of this bad boy. This is the Shield and Knives Calibri. Would you look at it? Just look at it. I would say if you're looking for a lightweight, everyday carry knife that isn't scary, it's a minimalist design, this might be up your alley. We're going to take a quick look, we're going to disassemble it, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. And while we're up here, let's take a look. Is there some texture? Now, there is some nice looking texture on this G10. There's not a whole lot of feel to the blue part. Now, this yellow does have some slight texture, uh, some feel to it. I'd give it about a, a three and a half, four. You can feel it. And here's this side. Look at this. A titanium pocket clip. What? What? And I can tell you this pocket clip is not going to let go of this knife. And if you're wearing jeans, once this is in your pocket, it's not coming out unless you pull it out. You could like hang from a tree. This puppy is not going to fall out of your pocket. And here is your pivot. And there's your Shielded Knives logo. And you know what? I just realized to take when we take this apart, it, uh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> we're going to find out because there's one screw on this side and one on this side. That may be troublesome or that may be a good thing. We shall find out. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Would you look at that? That is pretty sweet. I do like this design. It's very even. It's super clean. I like how it kind of comes up and then goes back down. I can't picture what it is this reminds me of. This shape reminds me of something. But you have 154 CM blade steel that's a really nice stone wash. It's a Max Kachuk design, which is very nice, very, very nice. And if you look over here, there you go. Nice little logo. And there's no doubt as to what knife this is. And the 154 CM blade steel, that is always a plus. Now check this out. Nice looking jimping. Now as far as grabby, uh, it's it works. Um, I wouldn't mind a little more aggression, but you know, it does the trick. Now as far as your fit... It is absolutely rock solid, left and left and right, up and down. There is no play whatsoever, and it is centered. I do like this accent of the liners. Now, if you like inset liners, look at that. You're good to go. Look at those bad boys. They're all up in there. We'll, t we'll get a good look at that here in just a minute, and it also has the yellow backspacer there. Um, the designer is from Ukraine, so I'm guessing that's probably what we're going for here with the colors. Your stone wash is a really nice finish. It's super nice and clean. Super nice and clean. <laughs> it's very, very uniform. I'm not seeing any deformities or anything like that. It is a very clean stone wash, and I like the looks of this knife. You know what? Let's see how it'll cut paper. What's she going to do? Is it going to be a slicer? Oh, what? 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 Hold the bus. Look at that. Listen how clean. Would you listen? Just listen. <laughs> very, very nice edge. Um, I have to say that I've held quite a few and had quite a few shielded knives. And most of them, uh, by the way, it, it has a very good edge from the factory. But I've had very many, I don't know, eight or nine shielded knives somewhere in there. Six, seven, eight, or nine. And most of them have been heavy-duty work knives, like big kachonkers. This one, they brought it down and brought it into the EDC range. And it doesn't even weigh, it weighs like 2.4 something ounces. Doesn't even weigh two and a half ounces, which is very nice. You can't even tell it's in your pocket. And for some quick size comparisons, here's one of my favorite from Shielding, since we're showing a Shield and Knife. Here's the Shield and Knives Empoleon. And how about this one? With the Poon, the Relicanth. So there's the, the Empoleon down here and the Relicanth up here. And these are the two of the smaller knives that I have from Shielding, but both of these are very nice carries. Now here's a couple more. How about the QSP Penguin? You know we got to have a penguin in there and the Civivi Elementum. It's Elementum, my dear Watson. Elementum. So you can see it is a smaller size knife. It has less of a handle than both of these bad boys and less of a blade. Now sharpen, sharpen length, it's not that far off from the Elementum, just a hair shorter. So this right here kind of makes it look like a smaller knife. I feel like it makes it look more friendly. It does, I don't know. It just looks less, less knifish. <laughs> is that even possible? Here is the Civivi Baby Banner. And it's, while we have Civivis up here, how about the Kai V Plus? Or is it the Kai V Plus or the Super Kai V? <laughs> anyway, um, I'll have links to all the knives that I'm showing down in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. And also, while I'm thinking about it, I have a 15% off discount code to all Shield and Knives. And you can use that anytime you want over on the Amazon. And that discount is in the linked in the description. Here is the Kaiser Domen Mini. And ooh, look at this one. Look at that. It's the Kaiser Comet. So it is, it is most comparable to the Comet. I know you've seen the Comet. Uh, you've probably seen my video on the Comet. These two go very well together. Different blade shapes, but as far as 
how much real estate they're going to take in your pocket. Those are the closest I believe I have in comparison. And when I was talking about everyday carry and EDC knives, this right here, as far as a minimalist pocket knife, here's the Through Night Archer Mini. Um, I just did a video. Uh, you could go watch that. It's a very recent video right before this one. So if you have the Archer Mini and this bad boy, look at that. That's not going to take up a lot of space, but you get a lot of blade and, a, well, actually a lot of light with it. But those, those go really well together as far as size. And if you carry a small pouch or something like that, that's going to be good to go. Now let's check out the action of the Ergos. Now with the Calibri, there's pretty much just a couple ways as far as deployment. First is the front flipper, which is very snappy with the thumb. Check this out. Pow! It comes out snapping that way and then over the top. Now, here's something I will mention. If you're not a big fan of front flippers, this one may not be the one for you. It depends. Some front flippers are a little easier than others. This one, I do have to commit my thumb to it, but I will say that jimping does a good job. As far as your jimping, it does grab my finger. It does, it does really well. I'll show you on the ergos here in just a second, but as far as how, how it feels... now. Front flip it over the top. I'm not that great with it with my left hand. I am able to do it with my left hand. Now, here's something of, that I do want to mention. Now, your pass-through, it doesn't have a ton. And your lockup's right there in the middle, right where you want it to be. I think I showed you earlier. Maybe not. But it is dead centered. And with, with this pass-through, you do have to kind of commit your thumb to get it on the inside there to get that closed. I find myself using my fingernail. If I don't use my fingernail... Eh, it, it, it works. I wouldn't mind if there was a little bit of grippage, just a little bit on there. But, I mean, I wouldn't say that that's, that's going to be an issue. I can't discount it. Now, this is definitely, here's a nitpick of mine that I have of this knife in particular, is how far you go before you get past the detent ball. So, right there. Let me get you to that point. So, this is how far you go before... You get past the detent ball and it will shut. So that may or may not be an issue for you. I prefer when it lets go a little earlier, a little a little closer up top. But I will say this is a nice little flippy knife. For me personally, it's not the most fidgety all day long knife. But when I do have it in my hand, I do find myself snapping it. I like over the top better with this knife than I use, like using my thumb. But it is comfortable. Speaking of comfort, my hand from here to here is four inches. From here to here is three and a half. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. Let's see what it feels like. It's very comfortable. Now, you, with knowing the size of my hand... I can really get a good grip on it. I can feel the pocket clip, but it is not a hot spot whatsoever. And titanium pocket clip, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with how clean this knife is. There aren't screws all over the place. There's only two, which we're going to check out here in just a second. But as far as a little, a little package opener, I mean, this, this is one of those knives that you can, you don't even have to use the pocket clip. You could drop it in your pocket. It's, it's a great little package opener or utility cutter. It has a strong tip. It doesn't have a weak tip. You know what it means? You got to have a strong tip, right? But it, it is comfortable. I don't have any gripes when it comes to how I hold it. Now, if I'm holding it back here in this grip like this, it's locked in. It's not going anywhere. And I, I suppose you could do some like, package opening or something like that opening some bags of stuff i wouldn't for me personally i wouldn't call this necessarily a working knife it's more of an everyday carry knife but i'll get a little more into my final thoughts after we take it apart and we're gonna do that right now now i'm gonna go ahead and take a guess before we take it apart i'm gonna guess that this is clean on the inside and i'm hoping that we're able to take it apart so i have a t8 here and we'll see if our pivot will come out oh very nice very, very nice and if you have questions about any of the knives you ever see on the channel, every Friday night from 8.15 to 11.15 or later, p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, you can come check out Bee's Blades live at the Hive. You can ask questions. We have a lot of fun. It's very laid back. You can come and just check it out and see if you like, like it. Believe me, if you have any questions about pocket knives, and there are no dumb questions questions it is the perfect place to be because if i can't answer it someone else in the chat will be able to answer it and i do giveaways every friday night we have so much fun um oh wow okay <laughs> look at that that is a long screw so i'm hoping that's gonna release uh let's see is it gonna what's it gonna do um somebody's got something's gotta let go oh okay yeah so that's wow two screws that's it so here's the inside there's your inset liners and it is very clean. My prediction was true. How about that? Um, I will give props to Shielding. They have definitely made improvements. And this is definitely in the right direction. So there's a look at your ceramic ball bearings, which are very nice. Very, very nice. I can't so totally appreciate 
how clean that is. It does not need cleaned. I don't need to do anything to it. We will put just a little bit of Luby Doom on there. And you know what? While we're in here, let's just let's just clean it out real quick. It'll only take a second. Um, it ha did have plenty of uh, Loctite in in the in the screw there. So there there's your uh, what's locking uh, ah okay. So the Shield and Knives logo itself is what's locking your pivot into place. It's not D shaped, but you do have plenty of real estate in that G10, which is going to hold hold that very well. So I don't think you're ever going to have any problems with that. So and another okay. So back to what I was saying because you know I'm pretty forgetful. Shielden has definitely made improvements. Um, they they primarily have used or made you know heavy duty working knives, and I do like to see them moving in the direction of everyday carry. You know, there's nothing wrong with a good working knife, but a lot of us also really enjoy just an EDC, a lightweight knife, when you're not using it for heavy duty stuff or for a backup. By the way, this is KPL Knife Pivot Lube. This is original. I have 10% off right now. Not right now, all the time of all the KPL KPL uh, Knife Pivot Lube products. And by the way, you got to get you some of these doodads. I have a link to these too, and I use these all the time. And I have a whole list of disassemblies you can go check out. I'll set, at some point during this disassembly, I'll put a little thingy do up there in the, in the corner so you can go... Check out some more dis disassemblies if you're new. And if you're not new, hey, go watch them anyway. <laughs> but th there you go. There's your detent ball. And I'm going to put a drop of KPL Heavy in that bad boy. And I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. And if you're not, well, you know, maybe it'll get better. And I, what I always say is find one, at least one thing every day to be thankful for. And focus on that. And your day will be better. I guarantee. All right, look at that. So we got that bad boy on. Put a little bit of lube on that. Don't need a lot. A little dabble, do ya? And you know, I just couldn't help it. I, I love I love doing maintenance on the knives. I love cleaning them. There's your stop pin. Pretty decent size stop pin. Yeah, that's a chonker. That'll definitely work. I'll take it. Put a little bit on the inside right here. There we go. It, you know, see this doesn't have a whole lot left on it. But I'm still putting some on there. All right, so there's our blade. Put that guy on there just like that. And yeah, it's... uh. That simple, that simple, ladies and gentlemen. And um, by the way, I'm just going to give you all a little hint. Um, depending on when you're watching this, well, actually, it probably doesn't matter because this is going to be the case at any given time. But uh, the, the giveaway I'm going to be doing <laughs> very soon, you'll definitely want to tap that bell button that's next to the subscribe button and select all. That way you get notifications when we... Uh, when my videos or my lives, if if you want to be notified when that live is I was talking about, if you hit all on the notifications, it'll tell you a half an hour before the live stream starts and you won't miss it. And you can come on and learn about knives from everybody. Everybody has something to teach everybody else about knives. All right, let me get this, uh, get this pivot back in its spot. Let me see if I can get it lined up. Oh, okay. Nice. That was easy. Okay. So that's all it took. We're back. We're back, back in business. Two screws. I appreciate that. I like how clean this is. I like the clean design. It's, I like how it's easy to take apart. And I do like the smaller size. I don't always want a big old chonker in my pocket. And I know some folks may not like the, the over the top flip, but once you learn it, Front flipper knives like this become much more enjoyable. It's just, just like learning how to blow a bubble when you're chewing gum. So we're solid. Are we centered? Yes, we're centered. Let's go to the big screen. So the Shielded Calibri, what do I think about it? Well, I think it's pretty good value for what you get. Um, with my discount code, you can get these around 67, 68 bucks. 154 CM, very nice stone wash. I like the aesthetics. I like the look of it. The, the handle and the feel are very comfortable. It has good ergonomics. You have a nice little choil up here. You I guess you could put your finger up here if you're just doing some, like, cutting a string or something like that. I wouldn't consider that a usable choil, but it may not be a finger choil, but look at that. It's a sharpening choil for days. So that's a plus. I would say my only drawbacks would be the late detent would be one thing. And then um, as far as the as far as far the jimping, I, I would prefer the jimping come out farther with a smaller knife. I'm going to put my thumb out here, and when my thumb is all the way out here, it's not ch touching the jimping. Now, if I'm back here just doing some cutting, the jimping is stopping my index finger, so that's a plus. It's not bad jimping. I would just prefer more. Those are just little nitpicks, but other than that, I do like it. I think it's a great little stylish 
lightweight knife. I bet Mrs. B's is going to like this one. We'll see. Now, she opens her, her knives two-handed a lot of times, so you are able to two-hand open this knife. So I'm curious, what do you think about it? Are you interested, not interested? It doesn't even matter. All you got to do is say hello in the chat. Say hi to everybody. Let me know how your day's going. I hope it's going well. Go watch that video. You're going to enjoy that. And after you're done with that one, go watch that one. <laughs> but until I see you again, or chat in the live streams or the hive stream, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourself.